Hi, I'm Natalie Sisson, the suitcase entrepreneur and adventurer from New Zealand. I love creative ways to run your business from anywhere using online tools, social media, and outsourcing. And I truly believe that any business can be virtual. That's why I'm always trying to discover the best of the best online tools to streamline your business and save you time and money. Right here on Toolkit Time, a weekly show just for you. Welcome to Toolkit Time. I'm Natalie Sisson and today I want to ask you if you like chimpanzees. Because if you do and you also like chimpanzees that greet you with really cute little sayings and make you feel like you're the very special person when you log into your email client, then I would suggest MailChimp is your number one solution for being able to send out email newsletters to your customers and clients. It's my platform of choice. I love it, particularly because for a long, long time, you could have up to 2,000 subscribers for free, and that was the plan that I was on, and I love that they give you that option when you're starting out. So. Let's jump straight into this. As you can see, this is the home page, clear, easy to navigate, really modern, fun, fresh, funky. They have a number of pricing systems and uh, you know to suit your needs. So for people who have 20,000 plus people on their list and 100 plus thousand people and you're like, yeah, right, I would love to get to that stage, then MailChimp is definitely very reasonable. But here's what I love. They have a forever free plan, as I just mentioned, up to 2,000 emails that you can have on your list before you have to pay anything to use this system. And then it goes up in increments from there. But really cool features. If you have never used an email client before, there are several main clients, Aweber, Constant Contact, and such. <laughs> and they all offer similar features, right? So th the differentiating thing for me is how easy is it to use? Do they have great templates? And do they have a lot of plugins that streamline other tools that I use to make it even easier? And I think MailChimp has a lot of these. They're integrated with Eventbrite, with Google Analytics, with FreshBooks, and a lot more. So most most email clients will allow you to look at analytics, to um, flesh out which titles are working in your emails, to look at your click rates, how many people are clicking on links in your email. They'll allow you to look at your open rates. They'll allow you to then resend that email to people who are opening, not opening, clicking, not clicking. It's all uh, it all gets quite analytical and, and a lot of fun. But here are some of the top features that. MailChimp offers. So they have a social pro component, which means it can pull information off the web to give you more information on who your subscribers are, which I personally find really useful. I get pretty little photos that pop up now when I log in telling me who's subscribed, and then I can hopefully find out more about them if they have social um, features set up that MailChimp can pull in. Uh, you can do a whole lot of branding. It's very cool. You get um, beautiful designer templates from really simple to being able to do your own stuff. And for a lot of us who aren't designers out there, uh, that makes it just so much more easy. And you can also integrate it with Facebook and Twitter. So whenever I send out my high flyer campaign, it gets automatically posted to Twitter and Facebook and people can comment on it, share it, and even subscribe to the RSS feed for my future newsletters. So I just really wanted to tell you that I think they have all these cool features. Split testing, if you don't know what that is, um, each time I send out to my mailing list of my wonderful tribe, I can test different titles and see which ones are more responsive to being opened. And that's hugely valuable for me when I take time to look at the data. Uh, you can also send them out in all sorts of different formats, HTML, um, plain text format depending on what email client people are opening their emails in, and even mobile. Uh, so, you know, lots of different things that you can use MailChimp for that really, really will make it easier for people to want to open your emails. Okay, so I just want to show you what it looks like inside. Even though I'm set up, I've just I've created another MailChimp account to show you how easy it is. You come to this home page when you've logged in, and they basically tell you how to get started really simply in four steps. So the first thing you need to do is create a list. Now you may say to yourself, I don't have a list. I don't have anybody. Um, I'm pretty sure you do. Look at your LinkedIn contacts. Can you download them as a CSV file? Um, also, 
you can easily look through your email and Gmail, you can look at your contacts and say, okay, which of these people might want to be a part of my list? But I also hear you saying in the background, Natalie, these people haven't opted into your list, and I totally agree. What I was talking about straight away is people you can email saying, look, I've started a newsletter, um, and I would love it if you would join. Here is the link to opt in to receive this newsletter. In this newsletter, I'm going to offer you these great things. I'm going to talk about this kind of stuff, and this is why it's going to be valuable and helpful for you. Please never, never, never put people onto your email list without them opting in. I think it's really frustrating. You've probably received it yourself. I never do it. I often wonder why I get onto people's lists and then I realize that they've either bought email data or they've just simply taken my email from somewhere on the internet and added me to their list without my approval. Never do that. But once you have MailChimp, you can have a lovely little opt-in widget on your website, on your blog, and MailChimp will collect the emails that you are receiving, the name and the email address and whatever else you would like to receive. I just recommend getting their name and email, make it as easy as possible for them to sign up initially. And once you have that, you'll start to see you'll get this lovely little list in here that you can do lots of things with, including creating a campaign. So it gives me a couple of options here. You can create a regular campaign, which is exactly what it is, yeah, a plain text and a split campaign and an RS driven campaign. So for example, let's show you what a split campaign looks like. A split campaign um, allows you to test the subject lines, um, who it's from and the delivery dates and times. I generally go by a subject line. Then you can say, you know what, I want to test this on, let's say you have a hundred people on your email list. You can just drag this along and increase the percentage of people that you're going to send that to. See I've just made it 32 percent and then you can pick you know how do we know which email won? Is it the open rate? How many people opened it? How many people clicked once they had actually opened it on the links that you put in there or manually? And you can choose to send um, the first bunch of test emails within the first hour, day or week depending on what your newsletter's purpose is. You know, once you've started off on this, you'll probably start creating lots of different lists, and then you can choose to send it to a segment of that list. For example, people who have joined recently, or some of your most loyal people on the list, or you can send it to the entire list. This is where you get to put in the name of your campaign. So let's say it's the first newsletter. I would put something very simple like first newsletter. Then this is where you get to put in your titles, and this is so important for the success of your newsletter. So you get to be creative on which titles you want to use to draw them in and you're testing between A and B titles. Um, over here on the right you can track the opens, you can track clicks, plain text clicks and also Google Analytics which you can just add your code in and from then on you can track that through GA which is great. You can integrate it with Twitter and Facebook as well. Once you've done that you are pretty much set to go in setting up your email. So I've just put in some dummy titles there, but you get my drift. <laughs> Here's where it gets really fun. Uh, you can start from scratch and design your own template, or you can look at the pre-designed ones. And they, they have a ton. MailChimp have done a really, really good job on this. So you can have like an anniversary style, you can have a basic plain template, and uh, you can also pick some of their premium templates. So it, this is entirely up to you. Um, and they basically come out as they look, within reason. For example, let's have a look at this newsletter template down here. You just click on it. You can preview it beforehand or you can simply select it. And voila, this is what you see. So now I am on the campaign builder page. This is not going to be a tutorial on how to use MailChimp. I can do that another day. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is. I mean, they have given me a template to work with and now it's all inputted there and all I have to do is head into this email and change what I want. I just click on the panel and as simple as this, I change the text. So I've just changed that title. I can I can do all the wonderful things that you can do like you're in a Word document. You can change the font size, bolded color, links, formatting, everything. It's very flexible. And back here you'll see my changes are made and uh, you know this is a pretty cool template actually you can add your header image in here, your logo of your company, you can add in some little events that are coming in RSVP. I mean this is an RSVP template but there's other newsletter templates that are very plain. There's some beautiful ones for discounts, for sales, you name it they've got it. You can change the coloring 
just down here by the right, the themes, very, very cool. And, uh, and they do generally try to pull colors from your site with this nifty big button here. And that's also a great option if you have no idea but you want your brand messaging to be consistent great option to choose. So have a play around. It's fantastic. I mean from there you pretty much hit next, you check it in the text format and then you send it and you can schedule it to send out on certain days so when you're being completely savvy and using other tools that I've recommended in my ultimate toolkit for entrepreneurs, uh, you can set all these newsletters up to go out while you're off playing and vacationing. Totally recommend you check out MailChimp today. It's free.